Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is the second video that I do today because the other video was the how to make a clean shapes or a clean logo or, or I don't know how I'm gonna call it where I basically explain how to use the line tool to create really sh uh, really clean shapes. So yeah, if you want to watch it, go in my channel, search it, or uh, whatever. So yeah, this tutorial I'm gonna be talking about how to create effects like visual cool effects in Flash. Yeah, uh, the difference between Flash and Photoshop are all those things. In here, we don't have a lot of eff like opacity for the. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> for example, in Photoshop, if you use a tablet, you can put your your brush like if you press really hard, it looks uh, with a lot of opacity. If you don't press hard, it looks really bright. So you can do cool stuff. You can do effects. You can do interesting things with that. And you can have blurry brushes and stuff. Uh, w here we only have the this brush that is basically the same for everything. You can change the size, but you can do a lot of with that. So yeah, I'm gonna give you here a really cool example that I've used in many cases. Let's say you want to make a clouds. You wanna make clouds here. In Photoshop, if you were like painting in Photoshop, you would it would be really easy to do it because you would search for a blurry blurry brush and with really low opacity and that's it. There you have your your clouds. But here what we're going to do is this. We're gonna draw our cloud here as you can see. Then we select it, right click, convert to symbol, and that's it. And and once you have converted this to a symbol, you have this option. You can go here to properties. If you don't have this, you should go uh, here in window, I guess, and search for properties. Yeah, here it is. You click here in properties and you can see this. If you go all the way to the bottom, you can see here are two interesting things. I don't really know what is this, but here this is interesting you can change the brightness of the of the of the symbol <laughs> if you select this other thing you can change the tint i don't really know what it is what is like the colors and stuff then you have here other things that i'm not really sure what what are them i don't know and here is alpha. Alpha basically means opacity. It's the same thing. Uh, zero alpha is invisible, as you can see. Then more opacity until it's normal. And down here is the most interesting part. The part uh, where, it where it says filters. As you can see here, it says filters. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven filters that you can use. For Let's make this like the cloud thing. So, whoa, you can make it really blurry. Really blurry, as you can see here. And, yeah, that looks like a cloud, actually. And if you unselect this, you can change only one of the values. Because one is one is horizontal and the other one is vertical, so yeah, it looks like a cloud, I guess. A really nice effect, as you can see. But that's not the only th the only thing that you you can do with this. I'm gonna give you another tip or another example. Let's say that you want to make a lightsaber from Star Wars. Okay, you do the same thing. You go here to properties and you can select glow. Here you can change the color of the glow and 
That's that's pretty much it. Okay. What? Are you <laughs> Let me. Okay, now it we look good. We do like this, as you can see. It looks like a lightsaber, but here you have other options that I'm not really sure how they work. Well, the inner glow is if you want the glow to be like not outside the figure but inside the figure. Knockout, I'm not really sure what is. But the thing is, here you have a lot of things you can you can experiment with. For example, we also have drop shadow, which is basically a shadow. You can play with all these values, all these things. You can do whatever you want, basically. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but you should try all of them to see what's going on, to see how it works. And that's it. That's basically it. So yeah, I hope this helps you. I know it was it was really like only a feature and a really fast tutorial, but yeah, I did some some examples that may be useful for you. So yeah, see you in the next video. And thank you for watching and bye.